Hi, and welcome to the Intervino School of Wine. I'm Cyrus Chaharday, and today we're going to look at how to open a bottle of wine using a corkscrew. So the proper way to open a bottle of wine, not with a shoe, not with a screw, not with a screwdriver or a pump. No, the right way, the correct way of opening using a corkscrew. So one of these, um, what's called a waiter's friend, or one of these corkscrews, whichever corkscrew you choose, but the right way of opening it. Now, some of you may be laughing, um, but the problem is many people don't know how to open a bottle of wine the right way. Uh, first of all, uh, the first step is going to be to check whether we do have a cork or whether we have a screw cap. So one of these here is a screw cap don't go and, and, and put a corkscrew into them. Um, I've seen it done in the past. Uh, yes, it does look ridiculous and um, you don't want to be doing that. Um, what you do want to do is check that uh, we have a bottle with a cork. And then we're going to have to do uh, the first step in opening a bottle of wine, which is cutting the foil. The number one mistake I see out there is people cutting the foil in the wrong place. If we look carefully at a bottle of wine, we're going to see there is what's called a ring. It's this thing at the top of the bottleneck, um, this piece of glass that comes out, it's called a ring. So this here, this part here is the ring. Can you see? We've got a small bulge in the neck of the bottle. Looking at another bottle, here is the ring. You can see it here. So whereabouts are we going to cut the foil? Top of the bottle, wrong. Top of the ring is wrong. Many, many people do that, and you even have the foil cutters that do that, but that's the wrong place to cut the foil. The foil is gonna be in contact with the wine, which is not hygienic. So we're going to try to cut the foil at the correct place, and the correct place is in the middle of the ring. I know that this is a difficult one to do, um, so I recommend the second base place to open the, the, the to cut the foil, which is just below the ring, so here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to, for this, uh, use a knife, uh, and we're going to cut right below the foil. So let's get started. We're going to either, if we have a waiter's friend uh, open the knife on the waiter's friend, which is here. Or if you're using one of these uh, corkscrews or uh, any corkscrew without a knife, then you're going to need a knife to cut the foil. So as I said, remember, right below uh, the ring. And we're simply going to run our knife by putting a little pressure all below the ring, using the ring as, a, as something to put your knife against. And once we have, can you see the cork, the, the top of the foil is moving. We're going to come back here and cut diagonally. Can you see I've cut the foil diagonally, which allows me to put my knife inside and to pull the foil off. We put our foil down, close the knife or put the knife down if you're using um, a knife and we're going to use our corkscrew. So the next part is um, opening what's called the worm. This little wiggly thing is called a worm and what we're going to do is put this worm right in the middle of the cork. So we insert the worm in the middle of the cork, and then we're going to screw our worm into our cork. As so, very simply, um, until we're at the bottom of the worm. If, like me, you have the chance of having a double hinge, can you see there's one hinge here and one hinge here, um, double hinge, uh, waiter's friend, then we simply bring the cork out a little bit and bring it to the second hinge. If you don't, 
you just go straight to the second hinge and then we're going to pull the cork out slowly not all the way out because we're going to tilt it a little bit we need a bit more we're going to tilt it and that's it now what we need to do is check that our wine is okay and that the wine is not corked now cork doesn't mean that there's pieces of cork that fallen into the bottle or that your cork is damaged it means that the cork has a bacteria that makes the wine um, that taints the wine so we're going to check by smelling if the cork smells of wine of fresh wine then it's okay if we have anything but the smell of a wine if we have the smell of of mold or we have the, a, a smell of wet cardboard a really strong smell of cork then that means that the cork uh, has probably tainted the wine and that the, our wine is corked and we shouldn't serve the wine if not if we have that wonderful fresh smell uh, of wine then we're okay what we do next is simply take the cork off the worm or the worm off the cork uh, put our cork screw down and the wine is ready to be served and that's it that's the proper way to open a bottle so now you know how to open a bottle the right way uh, and you can go around of course uh, and open uh, a bottle the right way but also do help me out in our mission to get people to open uh, a, a bottle of wine the correct way and if you see anyone opening the bottle by cutting it right at the top or putting even worse putting the worm straight through the foil or um, cutting it at the top of the ring let them know politely let them know no that's not the best way to open the, a bottle of wine it needs to be cut here let them know how to open a bottle of wine thank you very much for listening um, to this mini guide on how to open a bottle of wine i look forward to seeing you soon